Welcome to my channel. My name is Attila and this is my third piece. Okay, so recently I have purchased a wood turning book and in this book there is a very interesting wood carving technique that is specially designed for wood turners. And today I am going to try to learn this technique and hopefully you will join me along the way. So let's just go downstairs and let's get to it. Mustard piece. Okay. One thing I have to say, the book is copyrighted. That's why I'm not going to show you the book, not even the cover. I just don't want to risk it. It probably would be alright to show you the cover, but yeah, let's just get to it and uh, I talk you through. I have a piece of maple. I'm going to use this one to make the body of the box. So this is a wood turning book and the book is called Turned Boxes 40 Inspiring Boxes by Expert Makers. I will put the link into the description of this video so you can check at least you can check out the cover for yourself. If you like anything on the cover because there is a selection of boxes there just let me know in the comment section if you want me to make any of those. Obviously I am not going to dedicate my channel for copying someone else's work but from time to time I can do that maybe I can even buy some of these books and just give it away for free for you guys. Let me know in the comment section if you like that. Okay, the mounting point is done, now I can turn it around and shape the other side. By the way, this carving that I am doing, it's fairly simple. It looks complicated, it looks scary, but it's actually not. You will see that, I will talk you through it. So basically the next step would be just to divide the piece into 24 equal segments. And I have a trick that I normally use to do this, let me show you. So you want a platform where you can put the pencil flat and it doesn't move. So the way I achieve that is just simply I am going to use my curved tool rest like this and just use hot glue to fix it to the wood. Okay. Now I am just going to use the indexing holes just to go into the next position yeah looking good so basically all the dotted lines are my high points and all these the simple lines would be my low point so 
I am going to just carve in here. So what I do right now is completely unnecessary. I can do much better result with power carving, but the book asked me to do so. And I just wanted to try if this one has any benefit whatsoever. I don't think using a wee chisel in this case is necessary. So let me tell you something, if you are a woodworker, wood turner, any kind of person who is doing any kind of craft, painting, drawing, whatever, you're probably able to carve as well. So if you don't try carving on a wood turning piece, this is related to me, because you are afraid of not being able to do it, what I am going to show you right now, it's easy. If you watch my channel, if you watch the things that I do, none of the things that I already done on this channel is actually hard. If you think this is hard, I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but hard doesn't start here. 90% of the time when I come into the workshop and I start to work on something I know I, am, I will be able to finish it. That's how confident I am. And not because I am experienced carver or experienced wood turner. Most of you watching may have more experience than me. I have started this whole thing a year ago. Basically, every single piece that I ever completed is on my YouTube channel. I was able to get to this state where I am right now. Not because I am talented or something, I just... I try it and I'm not afraid of failing. This is a mindset. That's what I am trying to teach you. I'm not going to be able to teach you the techniques or the how to. And my channel never been about how to, how to do this, how to do that, because I am trying to figure it out myself. But what I can teach you is, is the attitude. Do you want to be good at it or you don't want to be good at it? There is no right or wrong answer to this question. You just have to decide it for yourself. I want to be good at it. What I do, I want to be good at I want to be the best at it. I might not be able to get to that level, but I will give it a good try. So basically that's, that's the mindset I want you to acquire. I want to be the best. I will do a good job. If I have to send a little bit longer, I will send a little bit longer. If I have to use my head to design a piece, I will use my head to design a piece. That's simple. It's all in your head. Nothing, nothing is coming out of my hand. The hand is just a tool to extend my mind. Do you want a real life example? Okay, I have a bachelor's degree and a master's degree in cancer cell and molecular biology in a country where I didn't even speak the language. Not because I'm smart, but because I work my butt off. Because I am determined. That simple. So let me show you a trick. Diamond bits. Why would you use diamond bits for wood? This is basically your sanding paper. That's what you use to clean up your cuts. It takes a bit of getting used to, but it works very well if you know how to. Okay, let me hollow it out real quick. Hey, 
Here. It's done. Told you it will be quick. So now I am going to make a fancy lid using purple art. Now I am going to do exactly the same thing as before, just divide it into 24 equal segments. That's all we do. Now take away the excess with the parting tool. So now I am going to connect every second line at the radius of the circle. For the next step, I am going to do a little bit of carving, but the main, the carving is pretty much just a guide and for the main shaping i am going to use the belt sander you will see how easy it is Here we go, very nice, three-dimensional, fancy lid, as promised. I also did just a tiny bit of purple heart at the bottom. It needs a little bit of sanding and uh, finish, probably locker. I'm going to put my logo in here. Mustard piece. See? It wasn't very hard. Thank you for watching.